Hello, my amazing artists. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a portfolio out of a random cereal box. And what I did was I took a cereal box and I just turned it inside out and I taped the edges so that it is now a nice box for holding art supplies and art projects in, including a little sketchbook I made out of just some random cardboard and other art projects that I have done. And so what I'm gonna do is show you how to get started on making your portfolio. Let me show you what you need. So to make the portfolio box, what I do is I just use an ordinary cereal box and I flip it inside out and join it together using tape on all the sides just to reinforce it and make it nice and strong. The portfolio box is a great place to store different kinds of art projects. Everything from big projects to smaller projects, let me see, to sketchbooks, different kinds of projects that are in the middle in the process, and I just hang on to those in a good place. So what I do first is I take a cereal box uh, just an ordinary cereal box and I cut off one edge, one of the skinny edges here and I just set that aside. And I'm going to take this cereal box and I'm just going to build the box so that the regular cardboard is on the outside. I fold up this tiny flap and then I just use a little bit of regular tape to tape the bottom edge and the top edge and somewhere in the middle. And I just sort of tack those there just to kind of get it started. And then I do the same thing on the other side. I just tack the little flap in and then I put these bigger flaps down. And I just use regular tape join these together so they overlap enough to build the box edge. A little tape in the middle. It doesn't have to be super nice and neat just yet. And then I'm going to put a little bit of tape there. It looks like my box got a little bit torn, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. The next thing I like to do is I like to use duct tape to uh, make the edges nice and sturdy. So what I do is I pull a long piece of duct tape and I'm just going to take this duct tape and I'm going to wrap it around the edge and over the top so it's on top of itself and then smooth it down. Do the same thing here on the bottom, just kind of smooth it down as I go along and do the same thing on What's nice about duct tape is that when you get to the piece that you don't need, you can just tear it. You don't even have to cut it. And I could stop there if I wanted to, or if you happen to have some decorative tape, then, like I do, I just decorate the edges a little bit just because it is an art portfolio box. And I just take this tape and I just smooth it down. Do the same thing across the bottom, smooth it down, do the same thing across the top. Now this tape works a little bit better if you cut it, so that's what I'm going to do. Now from here, I can use different types of art materials and I can start decorating my box. I can write my name on it, I can draw pictures on it, I can just make some simple designs. You get to decide what you're going to do to make your portfolio box. So have fun with it and get ready to fill it with some really fun artwork. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have fun making your portfolio box. Go find a big empty cereal box out of your pantry and you are ready to make a portfolio. See you next time. Bye.